Binge Pipe is proud to resent You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, because if you stop watching, you may stop existing. Hello everyone, I'm Cookie Masterson, and this mole on my shoulder keeps getting bigger, so we better get on with the game. Hey, since it's just you and me, I'll let you steer during the back half of the game. Okay, let's see what lies ahead. Time for question one. First on the docket, consider your beer held. Help me finish this tweet. Me. It would be really gross if there was a liquor flavored with wormwood. Sweden. Hold my drambui. Hold my mead. Hold my malort. Or hold my raki. And how do we do? Malort is a bitter liquor made from wormwood. You can keep holding my malort. I don't think I want it back. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This one's called Where About Bob? You know how Bill Murray likes to show up at random places and surprise people with his dry wit and overabundance of public goodwill? Well, if Bill Murray just randomly showed up on the Murray River, who would he likely be surprising? An unsuspecting Irish wedding party? An unsuspecting English yoga class? An unsuspecting Canadian golf course staff? Or an unsuspecting Australian bachelor party? Okay, what'd you pick? The Murray River is Australia's longest river and the third longest navigable river in the world. Jeez, even Australia's Murrays are bigger than ours. But their Murray never made a guest appearance in the 2016 reboot of Ghostbusters. So there. Why do we do it with three? Up next. But she still gets carded. And thank you for being a contestant on this dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's something that's older than actress Betty White, or something that's younger than actress Betty White. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between older or younger. All set, here we go. Airplanes. Penicillin. The zipper. And beer. Sliced bread. The light bulb. Israel. You really excel in the middle lane. Moving right along. You're my question for forevermore. Coming up next, one plus one equals shoe. Which shoe brand's logo closely resembles the square root symbol? Nike, Adidas, Converse, or Vans? Okay, let's take a look. The V in the Vans logo looks very similar to the square root symbol. But here's something that'll really blow your mind. The O in the Reebok logo looks like a zero. Let's try go against the migraine. According to Matrix rules, based on its color, which pill should I swallow if I want to continue my blissful ignorance of illusion? Tylenol regular strength, Aleve, Motrin IB, or Advil? Let's see how that shook out. Aleve makes blue pills, which according to the Matrix is the pill sheep take to remain sheep. Here we go. Okay, let's continue this game. Say goodbye to round one. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? Okay, buckle in. Six trombones is not a parade. Oh, here's a good one. Speak directly to God at 3 p.m. Eastern. 
If God did a Reddit AMA, what question would you expect from Angry Job 42? Did you really ruin my life to win an argument? I love this part. God tested Job's patience with hardships after Satan wagered that Job would turn on God in tough times. La vie est un canard. Set. Here we have type equals squiggly bracket movie comma classic squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. So binge pipe needs help sorting through user data. Uh, why are you collecting all this information again? It's just a hobby. Here are the searches we have. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Whose search history have we acquired? Ben Stiller, Ben Stein, Ben Savage, or Benjamin Brett? And how do we do? Ben Stein played the teacher continuously calling the titular character's name for roll call in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Do you want to know how many times you've searched for your own name, Cookie? No, the only person who can't handle my personal information is me. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. Take a good look at He Does Not Skip Wing Day. And uh oh, Dress Up Kids Dime Store. It's time for a Thingalicious Kill. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, get ready. Check out this gibberish phrase and tell me what movie title it rhymes with. We pick the swole B, and don't get hung up on that punctuation. I can't stand the suspense. What is it? Now let's keep going. Next, frat chance. If I wanted to start a fraternity with letters that more or less look like three pitchforks, what name should I use? Alpha Alpha Alpha, Eta Eta Eta, Kai Kai Kai, or Psy Psy Psy? Okay, what'd you pick? Psy is the 23rd letter of the Greek alphabet, and it looks either like a little pitchfork or a little trident. Psy 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 is... Also what my mom said when she saw my one-man show. I call this one syntax to the max. Grammatically speaking, what's a contraction? What's a contraction or question mark? So what'd you pick? A contraction is when a noun and a verb combine and you replace the omitted letter with an apostrophe. Welcome to... Oh, was I talking? Silly me. Here's your clue. Part of the team. I hope you know what official titles belong on what teams. Good luck.
There it is. Congratulations, you played yourself and you won. When you play these same questions again with someone else and totally crush them, I hope you feel proud of yourself. But don't forget... You don't know Jack! we thought, sir. Those giant snakes are heading towards Earth. Wait. Oh my god, this Chinese takeout place, this isn't a normal restaurant. Look at the roof. It used to be a pizza hut. It used to be a pizza hut. I've just fallen down the stairs, but I feel great. Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Let's check out what we have today. And it looks like, uh oh no. Oh, it's bees again. Bees again. Bees again.